All right, so today I thought I'd do a neat little experiment where I literally scratch a floppy disk with a pen and see if Spinrite can do anything for me. But first, we have to use Spinrite to see if the floppy disk is good, or at least the one that I'm going to be using. Now, right now, I'm operating a Windows 98 machine over an IP KVM switch, thus the live video feed. This is not a virtual machine. So we're going to check it. Um, for the first few seconds, then cut to the end so you don't have to watch it scan the entire time. And for some reason, yeah, it does that. Okay. We're exiting, and now we're going to be booting Windows 98. There we go. This Windows 98 machine is actually running off. I think it is a four, um, four gig um, compact flash card. Hence the semi-fast boot times. All right, so the first thing first is to go in and format the floppy. Now I'm actually narrating this after the fact. I've already recorded the video. I'm just kind of giving you a little play-by-play -play here. So we're gonna go in there, right click it, and say format the floppy. Quick format, sure, that's fine. Give it a label. And start. Shouldn't take very long. So after it's done formatting, we have to go locate some files to actually put on the floppy. I thought some JPEGs. I thought what better place to go look for it than in the Windows directory. But I kind of forgot where the wallpaper and stuff were stored. So I'm just casually browsing around like, where um, are all the files at? doop a -doo, not here. So finally, I just kind of do a control F and say, hey, let's just look for all JPEGs in the Windows directory. That'll work. And I think it came to the tune of about 20, how many, 25 or 26 JPEGs. Eh, it was 25. So I'm like, sure, let's just kind of do a mass select all, go over to the floppy disk, and then paste it. Now I'm using the hotkeys of control C and control V, which is why it will just kind of start pasting. Good old floppies. Now after it copies, I want to make sure that the disk didn't go bad as it's copying for the first time in many years. So I have to turn around, create a new folder, and then see if it reads off the floppy. See if I can bring them back to the desktop. Just about done. Yeah, whenever I would cut to a new frame, my video editing software did not like the format I recorded with the um, open video recorder or open streaming, whatever that's called, OBS. All right, so I have my new folder created. So now let's go ahead and start pasting them in. And it's reading that newly created um, floppy disk just fine. Now at this point, I wanted to actually cut the video and show me cutting the floppy, or not cutting it, but scratching it with a pen. But in doing so, I couldn't get the video to line up with what I do next. So you're stuck with me. Actually, what happened first is I ejected it put it on the desk, scratched it, and I must not have done it deep enough or on the right side or whatever. And I uh, scratch it, and so I put it back in the computer, and I paste it, and lo and behold, the thing reads just fine. I'm like, son of a gun. So this section right here is me trying to copy it after I did a paste. 
or after I uh, poked it with a needle or scratched it or whatever. So I right click or I choose paste and it's like copying and it goes all the way through. I'm like, oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. At that point in time, we cut to me doing the actual scratch. There we go. So now it's time to scratch a floppy. There's my little pin. Got to get it open there. It's just a small little scratch. And scratch. Perfect. Just kind of go ahead and put it back in the machine. And now the video feed lines up. And paste. And it actually goes pretty far. It goes to the very, very end. And then it's like, <clears throat> can't do it. So before I ran spin right, nope, oh, here it goes. And it's gonna die. Yep, it's dead. So I thought before I run spin right, let's see what Scandisk can do. Now I had Windows, everything but Windows 98 on the brain. So I'm like, CMD? Nope. And I'm like, can I just see what the commands for scan disk are? Nope, that's not going to work either. It's like, question mark. And then it's like, screw you. Let's just run it. Hey, and I'm like, let's do it. And it actually takes quite a while. But it does actually finish. It doesn't... Helps if you select the right drive. Actually goes all the way through, it doesn't vomit at any point in time, so that was good. And also I do edit this too, so you don't have to watch it. And it's going and going and going. All that we're missing here is just the noise of the floppy disk. Okay, so it's finished. So I thought at this point, now let's run spin right. I guess it's not done just yet. This is the worst narration ever. I think I should probably narrate first and then do the video. All right, it finished. So at this point I thought, well, let's go ahead and try it. Did scan disk fix the issue. And select all, copy, and paste. And as they would say in the crudes, dun dun dun. Did it fix the issue? And no, it did not. At this point, it's like, okay, spin right, show me what you got. Now, I'm not going to make you watch the whole scan process. That would just be, that'd be cruel. Unless you're really bored and you're into that kind of thing. Um, it actually took, I don't know, probably 45 minutes to scan the entire floppy disk. Go. I just gotta go ahead and choose the floppy and say start. Okay, well I must not have cut as soon as I thought I cut. I guess you must watch it go all the way to the first spot where it runs into problems.
It's actually kind of funny is it found more spots than what um, it indicated that uh, scan disk put on the disk. Okay, first bad spot. Okay, there we go. And it's done. So, if, yeah, it, it correct. I'll slow down. There we go. It corrected one or two. Actually recovered some of the green R. So now we're rebooting one more time. And this time we'll try to recover the stuff off the floppy. So what do you think? Think it fixed it? This is kind of funny. I already know the answer. Because I'm recording this after the fact. All right. I will say that when it copied all the files off the floppy, it did take quite a while. It went around, it went through it pretty good. And then it's like, ah, can't do it. I actually can't remember if I kept the whole process in. I th think I did. You get to watch this entire thing. About right here is where, the, where it would normally just go, ah, can't read the disk. It really kind of scared me because had it actually failed, I would have been like, yeah. Or wait, did I just spoil it? Son of a... Okay, it actually succeeds. But it takes a while. Yeah, start.jpg. Hey, there we go. We're up to 21 objects. The one thing I was not going to do during this video, and of course somebody calls me as I'm recording the video, because I don't want to synchronize this video. Hmm, because I don't want to resynchronize this video again. I'm just gonna let it. I'm gonna let it ring. Otherwise, I gotta pause the video, pause the recording, and try to somehow get it synced up again. All right. So now I knew there was a way in Windows 8. I thought to do um, thumbnails. So I'm like, where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Finally, I just did like show. What did I click on? Show details. And I saw the thumbnail on the left hand side, so I just kind of scroll through all of them until I see one that's kind of corrupted. Now I realized the control test would have been to try to copy each and every one of these after doing the scan disk, but that's hindsight. So I'm like, at this point, just go all the way through. Blah, ba da ba da Oop, what's that one? That one would be just a really small file. Yep, that one uh, is corrupt. It wouldn't open. So that was one. Two. That one, I would, okay, three. No, so so far two, and then that one. That one is actually a partial recovery. So I would say two were dead, one was a partial. So anyway, that was just Spinrite doing its best to work with a floppy disk that had a scratch on it. Uh, this was actually really fun to do. I had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it too. And uh, yeah. So we just gotta wait for me to shut down the VM. <laughs> no, not the VM. The KVM. Shut down. And the KVM is now shut off. Thanks for watching.